Well, I became a Paiste family member back in when I was a teenager. It was really wild. Uh, I was at the Montreux Jazz Festival. I was looking for something uh, contemporary that had a, a great sound, and they were providing cymbals for players at the, at the Montreux Jazz Festival. And they had this array of stuff. I remember the, they made this, uh, these hi-hats called Sound Edge. And I met Eric Peisty then, a sweetheart. And uh, one thing led to another, and I became kind of a Peisty guy. <laughs> and, and when I um, started doing the David Letterman show, Late Night with David Letterman, we did a campaign for color sound symbols. I thought that would be very cool. The paint did something to the symbols, kind of, took some of the hard edge off of the symbols, made them warm, but yet uh, still, uh, they still spoke. And so all of the symbols I've gotten, whether they were Rudes or 2002s or 602s, they've all been, they all had a certain uh, special character all their own. And then they wanted to do some research. Eric came to, to New York. They wanted to get, they wanted to come up with a symbol that satisfied their players that had, um, had their favorite symbol. They wanted them to bring their favorite symbol. So I remember going to SIR with my favorite symbol and Grady Tate brought his favorite ride symbol that he played on all those Quincy Jones records and stuff. And I remember seeing his symbol, and I always thought in my head while listening to it that it was a different type of symbol than it was. And that's, that's the great thing. You know, prior to YouTube and Instagram and everything, you had to use your imagination to actually figure some stuff out, you know. So at any rate, all these players brought their favorite symbols, and Paiste came up with a line called the Traditional Series. And that, by far, is my favorite series. And they made this, this line, the traditional line, just fit me to a T because it's contemporary sounding, but it's vintage sounding simultaneously. And that's very hard to do. Usually a vintage symbol can be very dark. And it, even though it's appealing uh, when you're playing it, it can actually make a recording, your whole record sound dark. You know, it can actually cloud the sound of an entire recording. And, and not necessarily for the better, you know. So what the traditional series does is it gives you the vibe of a vintage symbol, but it doesn't cloud the top of the frequencies of the entire record. It still it makes it, uh, it gives you a fresh, clean top, not a dirty, cloudy top. And um, so it's the perfect symbol. And to prove that, when I was playing this symbol with Sonny Rollins, he turned around and said, what is that symbol? And I said, it's a traditional, Paiste traditional 22 and he said, with rivets I put in. He loved that symbol. So that was seal of approval right there. And that symbol, the tra traditional line, the traditional line is the most versatile line for me.
And just when I thought that Paiste couldn't top what they were doing, they came out with a master series. And this is what this 24 inch symbol is. This is a master thin 24 inch symbol. And this is yet another versatile symbol and it's so gorgeous. And it's like the best of every world, this symbol here. So just when I didn't think you could beat the traditionals, now this is like, this could be my favorite ride symbol. <clears throat> I've worked with them closely on developing uh, hi-hat symbols for me, and these are my 17-inch uh, traditional hi-hats. Um, I used to just put a couple of small crashes together, and but they dedicated a little time to make these hi-hats for me. And uh, I'm really, really happy about that. Of course, they also have uh, the giant beat uh, symbols, which are absolutely fantastic. I played them as well. Um, great sound, big, bold sound. Uh, and I'm a fan of those symbols as well. So, and uh, I have a vintage uh, 602 that I love. Um, and then I also use it. Uh, what is it? Uh, 2002? 2002. Yeah, 2002. I use a 2002 uh, for a crash or a medium ride sometimes. Uh, I like to mix them so I have all the different colors together. Uh, so, uh, yeah, they, uh, they're doing it. They're doing it. Paiste is always uh, been really there with variety. I think that's what I like about them the most. They're not standing still. <laughs>